So next test is for the anterior labral tear and posterior lab, lab, labral tear test. So the patient is asked to lie supine. So now you are going to test the anterior labral tear in the first instant. So what you have to do is you have to flex the hip, abduct the hip and laterally rotate. So the right hand of mine needs to be uh, used as a pivot where I have to do a medial and lateral rotation. At the same time, it also ha have to help flexion and extension movement of, of, of the patient's uh, hip. The other side, the left hand side of mine should help to do a flexion and adduction movement uh, e easily. So for the test for the anterior labral tear, so what you do is you have to have an external, external rotation of the hip, abduction and flexion of the hip to directly go for flexion, adduction and internal rotation of the hip. So you start from here and then move around. If there is any pain during this range from this position, starting position, till the end of this position, then it's possibly because of an anterior labral tear. So for the posterior labral tear, so it's, the starting position should be adduction, flexion uh, and medial rotation of the hip to extension, lateral rotation and abduction of the hip. So if there is any pain from this position to this position, then it's possibly because of uh, the posterior labral tear. So in this case, what happens is the head of the humerus, femur, directly grinds around the acetabular rim. So whenever you make a rotation, so it directly impinges on the acetabular rim and this causes a pain. And thus the test will be positive if there is any labyrinth here.